everybody welcome to my channel my name is pixie love you guys can call me pixie and i know it's tuesday but it's a motivational monday video you you understand we understand listen gonna try to have conversations with my job in a few weeks to give me a very strict and consistent schedule because my schedule is just all over the place um and i hate that so just bear with me i will be getting you guys videos out um so just now i'm just gonna not have a schedule right now you guys will get videos when you get them i'll let you know all right, so I'm not going to uh, <laughs> commit myself to a strict schedule when I can't do it because of my job. But I will try to get you at least three videos out a week. And if I feel a little more like it, maybe you'll get four or five again, you know. So I'm just going to be giving you guys videos for now until I'm able to be able to commit myself, in a, commit myself to a strict schedule. Okay? I'll probably say this in a video that's going to get more reviews. But you guys should be watching these videos. These are awesome. Okay? If you're not watching my Motivational Monday videos, shame on you. Okay? I know everyone here watching this. You guys are awesome. You guys are always there for me, and I love you guys. Let's get into these awesome transformations. All right, we're starting off with a weight gain one. She went from 98 pounds to 115 pounds. Can we talk about the health, please? Like, yes. Um, this is mostly muscle gain um, from working out. She says about five years. I think I heard, I heard, I'm pretty sure, gaining healthy weight is way harder than actually losing weight losing weight is really easy you just have to eat less food it's plain and simple right but like gaining weight you have to eat more but then also to gain muscle and stuff you have to like work out at the same time and for someone who's underweight eating a lot of food can be really fucking hard just like for someone who's overweight eating little food can be hard so but like we love this for you I'm so happy that you're proud of yourself. You can just tell without looking at your face, just your body position. You have way more confidence in the second per like second photo. And like I think I talk about confidence a lot, but I feel like confidence does so much for your mental health. One time I turned my sound back on. <laughs> anyway, confidence does so much for your mental health. It's incredible. I feel like for me mentally, the more confidence I build, the more proud I am of myself, the more happy I am with myself, the more... I don't let other people's bullshit get to me because at the end of the day, I know my worth and confidence can really build that into a person. So I feel like confidence has a lot to do with your mental health or at least how you mentally think about yourself, which can also help you mentally. So like, yeah. And like, I'm not gonna admit it, her butt looks amazing. I'm just saying like, girl, yes. Anyway, congratulations on your hard work. Freaking that looks like a lot of hard work. You can change your body with working out. I've, I've seen so many pictures of it. Like, if you don't like the way your body is looking, go to the gym. <laughs> you know, maybe get a personal trainer, see what you can do. But literally going to the gym, doing some work, like working out, building muscles can really change the way your body looks. If you're not born with it, you can get surgery or you can hit the gym. All right, so another weight gain one. Um, so there's a story with her. Well, okay, let's talk about the weights first. Okay, she went from 129 to 170, I think, and she was initially overweight. I don't know how overweight she was, but she did, she was on a weight loss journey at first, but then she had a fear of being too skinny, which I guess is something I have a fear too. I don't want to be too skinny, like, I never want to be as small as the first girl just because I personally don't think I would like my body like that. Do I say anything bad about her? No, that girl was beautiful. But she said she feared, feared being too skinny from like just doing cardio and losing too much weight. So now she does weightlifting and she is way more comfortable with her body as she should be. Cause like, I mean, in both pictures, girl, you look like a baddie. Like just saying, leggings super freaking cute. Like you look like a baddie in both pictures, but she's trying to be the strongest version of herself. And you know what? That, I feel that. You know, I want to lose weight to be the healthier version of myself, but I also want to be very strong, able to be very active and moving around. So that's why as I'm losing weight, I do lift weights when I go to the gym and stuff like that. I haven't been to the gym in a while. Me and my boyfriend haven't gotten a new gym membership yet, but I don't, I don't know. I plan on getting one with my friend. She goes to Planet Fitness. So I plan on getting a gym membership and just being able to work out with her. So, but yeah, I love this. For her i'm glad that she, you're do, i'm glad you won lost the weight to get yourself in a healthier body weight and now i'm glad you're just doing something to make yourself happy and just so you're proud of yourself because like like I said, my weight goal 
is like 180, 170. And I think technically I would still be overweight, but with my body type and the way I like my body to look, I think I'll be very happy at that weight. My little sister, she's like four inches shorter than me. And when she got up to what my goal weight is, well, she was a little heavy, but when she got up to like, got up in weight, she was like, I don't like this. <laughs> like she completely, like everybody's body is different. So like do what feels right for yourself. As long as you feel like you're, you know, you're healthy, you're able to do th the things like you want to do. If your weight is not hindering, you know, hindering you being able to do the things you want to do, you know, you should be good. And, you know, as long as you're happy. I mean, obviously I want everyone to be healthy, but at the day, end of the day, I want you all to be happy. And I mean, truly happy. Not on TikTok talking about how happy and proud you are because people call you fat, you know? Like, I mean, truly happy. Not fake happy, okay? 158 to 115. And, okay, Selena Gomez, like, do we not see that? <laughs> In the second picture, you look so much like Selena Gomez. Like, is it just me? Girl. Okay. First of all, you are beautiful in both pictures. Literally, you in both pictures, a lot of fat except just people would call you skinny in both. Like, you were just skinny. Why did you need to lose weight? You're skinny. I can clearly see a difference. Your face, you know, your face is slender. Your shoulders are smaller. Your arms are smaller. Your belly's, like, flatter. Your legs are thinner. Like, I can, even in this half-cropped photo, I can clearly see a g giant difference in in your weight and in your confidence and i was talk about it hair you know you're doing you're eating healthy you're eating right when your hair is glowing and like look at that hair obviously in the first picture your hair is gonna look a little damaged it's bleached we've all done it i've done it a bunch of times but just the natural hair color the brown mm, looking beautiful and you learn how to do your makeup just just glowing over here just freaking glowing and I love this for you okay y'all round of applause because this oh my god numbers y'all want to hear the numbers right 384 pounds to drum roll 175 and she said she still has uh, 45 more pounds to go but she's extremely proud of her progress extremely happy and I am extremely happy for you holy heckin hello like you literally went from looking like someone's mom to looking like someone's like college crush like honestly I forgot your age but you definitely went from looking like 30 you know 29 30 31 to looking like 21 like 20 like 22 years old like I'm not even lying, like gorgeous. Cause your beautiful green eyes are popping just like, wow. You just look so happy. I, I don't know, like I, congratulations. Just, that's so freaking amazing. I love this. All right, so she went from 180 to 158 and like, I'm loving these crop. I love your style. Super freaking cute. They are also 6'1". So like when I when I first, I was like 180. And I was like, oh my God, they didn't look like 180. But they're freaking 6'1". So obviously 180 is going to look different on them. But yeah, I love this. It's so weird. Because this person is super tall. Like they're just super tall and straight. But I can still clearly see just like the way that the pants are hugging them on their body. Um... The first picture, they're wearing it slightly high-waisted. I wear my pants a lot higher, too, just because it helps hold everything and hide everything a little better. You can suck it in a little better and hide it. And, like, in the second picture, they're clearly wearing them lower because they're more confident, showing more of, more of that midriff. We love a good midriff in their picture. Also, they said ignore their mess, okay? Okay, we're ignoring the mess. Love your hair. Your hair in the second picture does look way more healthier. I'm loving all of this for you, okay? I love all of this. Okay, we got another big dramatic change. 395 to 230. And like, sir, congratulations. 
oh my god, you look like you were like the big funny guy that was always joking around and having a good time. I still hope you're always joking around and having a good time in a body where you're able to run around and move and kill it. You know what I mean? Like, okay, and can I just say, like, you in the second picture, you're just looking like, yeah, I'm that, I'm that, I'm that man. Like, look at me, bitch. Yes, love the confidence. Like, I know the picture is the first one. Is something you weren't expecting to take a picture, but like, you know, you're standing up tall. Your shoulders are back. You're not slouched. You just, you're taking command of yourself, and I love this for you, 100%, sir. Mwah, beautiful. Yes. Also, good job on your weight loss. Like. Fucking congratulations to all these people, like I always say. You guys are always so inspiring, so amazing. I have still been doing really well. Uh, still, like, on a really tight budget, but planning on ordering, like, HelloFresh and getting that because I work at a mall. Not any mall. I work at a huge-ass mall, and there's two food courts plus hundreds of restaurants. And I could just get whatever I want. But to, one, save money and to prevent me from eating out five days a week when I'm at work, I wanna get HelloFresh and get like the meals for four people cause it's just me and my boyfriend. And then we're gonna have two extra meals and I can eat those for lunch, he can have one for lunch, I can have one for lunch. And use that as a way to like, make sure I'm keeping track of what I'm eating. Cause HelloFresh I think breaks down all the calories and everything for you too or whatever. It still will prevent me from going out to eat and I'm eating a home cooked meal and everything. So my plan is to get that next, my next pay period. But yeah, that's my plan. But I have to do it good, I've been keeping really close to what I ate. I've been eating Panera the last couple days, like their soup and I did it, I think I did a soup and mac and a soup and a salad. So trying to keep down, you know, their soups are so freaking good. Oh, I could literally drink a Panera soup. Just drink it, inject it into my veins, man. And this is why, <laughs> this is why I need to not eat out because I love food way too much. And I like the way I make food, so I'll be fine, but you, my friend, you're doing the damn thing. I'm so proud of you. Let's do, I think we can do one more. Let's do one more today. 2.36-ish, I think they said, to 1.86. Can we just like sit back for a second? That tight yellow dress on your pretty hourglass figure is just, ah. <sighs> Girl, I feel like you guys do this on purpose. Y'all just want to, y'all just want everyone to be like, I am a bad bitch. This is like everyone in progress pick does, okay? They're just like, I'm going to post the baddest freaking picture ever. Okay, yes, I'm sorry. I had to run off. I had something in my eye. But like, oh, okay, I want this dress, and I know I'm not going to look as good as you in this dress. I swear, ugh, I have a shopping addiction. This is not helping me. You guys wear really cute clothes and then I just want to buy stuff. I have a problem. Anyway, I don't have to say anything because like your pictures are saying it for me. <sighs> just, I have nothing to say because you're gorgeous. You look amazing. Loving your hair. I like the, the streaks in your hair. The dress is freaking killer on you. Like I said, you're doing this on purpose, but it's okay. I'm not mad. I love this for you guys. I just love, I love people. You guys are so amazing sometimes. See, I love doing these because most of the time I spend my time hating on people and just getting pissed off at people. But this makes me have faith in humanity because this is amazing. You look good. I love this for you. Keep up the good work. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like down below. If you guys enjoyed me, make sure you guys subscribe. All my social medias are on top. And in the load of you're gonna have two videos on your screen. One is my most recent upload, and this one is what YouTube recommends for you. I recommend either one of them because they're bangers. Why? Because I made them, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.